So this question is based upon the information provided here. So we know that intensity is equal to power divided by four pi times the distance squared. The question number 23 looks like it's gonna be a word problem. So I wanna pay very close attention to the wording here. So for the same signal emitted by a radio antenna, observer A measures its intensity to be 16 times the intensity observed I'm sorry, measured by observer B. I'm going to just write that down. So A is for observer A, and they get an intensity that's 16 times observer B's intensity. So I'll put a little B here for B's intensity and a little A to represent A's intensity. And then the distance of observer A from the radio antenna is what fraction of the distance of observer B from the radio antenna. So to me, that sounds like something I can draw. So I'm gonna just say plug in picture. So I'm gonna say, this is my antenna here, right? And then we have observer A and we have observer B. So if answer choice A were correct, so now I'm using like a plug in answers strategy because this question is practically asking for the value of R because R represents the distance. So if the distance from, um, a, if the distance of observer A from the radio antenna is what fraction of the distance, right? So if the distance from B were, I don't know, 16, then based upon choice A being one fourth of that, that would make this four, so it's R equals four, R equals 16. The question is, would we end up with this type of scenario? Well, let's see. So for I, A, I'd have P over four pi, times 16, so I'd have I A equals P um, over 64 pi. And for I B, I'd have P over four pi times 16 squared, which is 256. And then 256 times four, 250 times four is 1,000, six times four is 24. So I have P over 1,024 pi for IB. So is it true that IA is equal to IB times 16? Um, well, let's see. If I multiply this by 16, what would happen? So I'd have to, so if I multiply this by 16, I'd have to do some cross cancellation here. So 16 goes into 16 once, but 16 goes into 1024. Let me just take my calculator out. 1024 divided by 16 is actually 64. So this is true, actually. That's surprising. So this tells me that multiplying, so when, when, so let me just, let me just back up. When the distance from observer A to the antenna is one fourth the distance from observer B to the antenna, then the intensity measured for observer A is actually equal to 16 times the intensity measured for observer B, which is exactly what the question told us should happen. And therefore, choice A is the correct answer. So what I did here was I plugged in answers, but plugging in the answer really also went along with plugging in my own number. So plug in your own number, right? Because I chose the 16 here, right? So if you're, if you're not certain about this method, you can choose a different number, right? So because I saw that I'm going to do one-fourth, I chose a number that makes doing one-fourth easy. So you could say R is 20 and see if you get the same math. Or you can say R is 24 or R is, I don't know, 400, right? So you can choose any R value that you want. My suggestion is that you choose an R value that is a multiple of four so that you can take one fourth of it. Um, but you know, you can do whatever you want with that because you have a calculator. The question ends up being at the end, does the value that you get here, right? Is that equal to 16 times the value that, you know, that we initially had here, this I B equals P over 1024 pi, right? So that's the question. No matter what numbers you use, that's the relationship that you want to find.